haven't heard nothing yet. There's, there's so many more of them coming out. They just keep switching around as we're doing this. Big hand, Mr. Dave Tiberi, our ground champ, I'm telling you. Before we get into everything, in case folks, we've got some younger generations. I mean, we were just talking about how old you got. <laughs> so I pretty quick. Be, yeah, but so I want to be sure people, you you box a guy by the Tony at the time was ranked the pound for pound best fighter in the world, and you literally breathed the whatever out of him. But mm -hmm. you won the fight. All the people there that watched the fight. So a lot of controversy. You took boxing to the Senate, I mean, so you changed a lot of boxing rules way back then, so. I think that's probably one of the most exciting things is, is playing a part, it was on ABC Wild World of Sports, uh, had the opportunity at the fight itself working closely with the, prior to the legislation with the controversy with Donald Trump and a number of other people at ringside. Uh, then worked with Senator McCain, Senator Raw, and uh, the first ever boxing bill passed uh, through that fight which was called the Ali Bill. Boxing's the only sport in the world, major sport, that does not have a national commission, so. Uh, there's a lot of dangers to that, as you know, and so, uh, and people prey on that, and, and the f most fighters are not really educated, and that made it even tougher. Right, but you, 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 you put, guided some things out of way with, with what happened with you. You deserved it. You walked away. Folks, I, I always do this today. You get some very <laughs> He's going to embarrass you. Because he walked away. How do you walk away from a half million dollar offer? from the pro fighting promoters to fight Tony again just to shut him up. He didn't He didn't take the money. He, he refused the money. I just said, uh, clap for that. I, I, I tell you, fantastic. But you've gone on and you did TV for a while and everything, mm -hmm. but you came up with something. We talked about state police. Tell me what, what's going on with state police. Well, I am the head of defensive tactics since 1993 for the Delaware State Police. And uh, it's been an exciting time uh, to work with the young men and women for many, many years. But working with state leadership over the years uh, in my full-time business, which is the video multimedia field, as I met with state leaders, they said there's a big issue uh, in not only Delaware, but America and throughout the world, which is uh, making property safer. So uh, for seven years, we, uh, we worked on a software with my programmers. In the last three years, it really hit. It's called Emergency Response Protocol. And the software, literally, when a responder pulls up to a property, they access our software, be it a hospital, school, courthouse, prison, they'll access our software, and it will show them the whole critical infrastructure, access to live cameras, hazmat, it'll show them panoramic shots of rooms, which way hinges the doors turn. Uh, we just signed our sixth college campus, and going in September, October, we're bringing on seven Protection, schools. it's all about protection. Right, and yeah, speeding up yeah. reaction time, Columbine, give or take, they said six minutes to get there. 48 minutes to go in because they didn't know the makeup of the property. Right, now they can just access it and they'll Quickly. know the makeup of the property. I think it's fantastic, but you know, uh, anytime. That my mic does work now. I, I, I've, been, I've been doing this for a, a, a long time and I, every, every time I come down here, I, I've been wanting to do this and, 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 and you, you think you're so good. You know, with your boxing skills and all that, because you you also you also instruct uh, the state police after years, self defense mm -hmm. and everything else. So I figured, you know, while you're here, I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna unhook your microphone there, Dave. We're gonna oh, go. Man, we're gonna go to this here, and I'm gonna st walk around this desk and, and get you to stand up. I, I'm not sure exactly how I put these on. I guess I better take my jacket off if I'm gonna knock this guy out. I want to do it and do it right, right? Yeah, yeah. So before we, uh, yeah, yeah, Dave, Dave, you're gonna see a demonstration of the Dave Tiberi and everything. So now what do we got going on here? No, no, wait a minute, Dave. Uh, where's my guy out here? I, I got a big, come on up here. You, 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 where, where's Rock and Rob at? Rock and Rob, come on up here. You think I'm gonna do this, Dave, with all your experience? There's not a chance. It's a friend of mine, he announced races, all drag racing all over the country. He happens to be in town. Mr. Rock and Rob, as they refer to him. I wanna thank you for coming up and uh, uh, so, you know. <laughs> I, you know, I'm a kind of lightweight old man, so if you're going to demonstrate, now give Rock and Rob their gloves. Let's, let's see what we got now. We're going to step out here, guys, because we got we got a, a boom mic here that they're going to bring on so we can kind of hear you doing this and everything. Look at this. His hands are so big they can't even get into the glove. Reminds me of, uh, you know, Mr. O.J. Simpson or whatever. You know. <laughs> so, hey, 
Stretch, you're ready, I'm telling you. Now, Rock and Rob's not a professional of any kind or anything. I didn't do that to you, Dave. So, now, now, what would you do going in? Because you, know, you do this, you've got videos out for people to learn self-protection. This is a good, just a good thing, basic self-protection. Now, when you come up against guys, you know, I say, you know, I look at you, now you're a professional boxer, but somebody like Kevin, you know, that just, uh, you know, been meek and mild his entire life, you know, with a little bit of training comes up somebody like this, you're not going to be able to kick this guy's butt, but you're going to be able to survive it. Well, I think, I, you know, you, the whole idea is you find ways to win. Uh, Rock and Rob says not a chance. <laughs> well, he's got, for example, the size, I, I have a couple guys in the gym. One guy bench presses 400 pounds, but he's got a win capacity. He'll gas out in like 30 seconds. And like with Rob, what I would do, I spend a lot of time getting him loose, is get, get rid of any glitches, the lats, the shoulders. You got to get loose. And that's what people really enjoy about it because it's getting fluid, so you're not gassing out. And, and then immediately with Rob, I would start immediately working on a stance. Are you right handed or left handed? Uh, right. All right, so when I, as you watch cops on a highway, when I train my troopers, I, I always talk about under, uh, immediately cutting angle off. Front foot in the center of the chest of the opponent, and the, and the front shoulder, I mean, front foot and front shoulder in the center of the chest. I immediately eliminate target. And the key thing here is controlling the situation. And I'm a big fan of controlling it, not initiating. Just controlling it is immediately, if I'm, if I'm going to, if I see a competition starting, I'd immediately eliminate the target. If I'm open like this, number one, I have no foundation. I immediately want to get my legs under me, shoulder width, back leg pointed away, front leg again at the center of the chest, front shoulder, and it does two things. If he goes to attack me, I know how to run. Look. Yeah, yeah that's, that's my move right there. That's my... So anyway, so from this, this is our foundation, and then what we do is we, we, we learn how to, I teach them how to step side to side without crossing their legs. And then the fun part for Rob is, Rob, put your arms up. What's that song, raise your hands in the air, scream like you don't care. All right, drop one of the lats, and then what you want to do, imagine you have a glass of water, and you're just going to spill it. Just spill it over, right in my hand, just spill the punch. That's it, just turn it all the way out, slap it hard. Ooh, all right. So if you notice, with the balance now, he pushed off his back leg, his whole body's doing the work. Now if he squared up like this, it would be all arms. So just learning some of the basics, and then you get your confidence up a little more. We teach him uppercuts, we teach him how, again, how to hit the heavy bag, speed bag, double wind bag. And it's an all around cardio workout, but also it's a lifetime, uh, it's a lifetime art. They can buy a heavy bag on their own, and uh, the physical part of it, because you got a lot of females that do it too, as well. And, yeah, and it, yes, just yes. To, you know, just to control and build body toning. I mean, there's nothing better to body tone than just that physical, you know, just exertion going out there and everything. I had a female literally that was, you know, she's in a suit all day, and she lost about 18 pounds. She she looked fit already. But what boxing does is when it's resistance training. When you're punching bags, you know, it tones everything. And every, most of the guys are that way, women really like to be toned. So uh, the boxing tends to do that, and that's a big selling point. Yeah, but uh, Mr. Dave Tiberi, you've been helping this state for a lot of years, very representative. I call him our future governor because I know one of these days we're going to talk him into getting out there and running for office. He's a good man. He, he's worked hard for the state of Delaware. We really appreciate you being here, and you are our champion, even though that you didn't get the crown. Uh, Rock and Rob, you want to take it? You, you can tell he, he's, he's not here. I was going to say, you can tell he's taking a few shots in the that's nose. Right. So but I thank you, Rock and Rob. Big hand for Dave Tiberi. Keep your hands together one more time for the school of Rob.